Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos and today we are back with a little run through of the collection that we have designed for uh, Lewis and Irene and which uh, will be out soon. Yes. It's out in the end of September and we are calling it Norwegian Forest Dreams and hopefully you'll be able to find it um, at a retail close to you either you're in Australia or in America or Canada or UK or wherever. So anyway, Arne, I thought that it could be fun to show the, um, the, the whole book. collection. Yeah, we'll show the whole collection the, and the book. And we've got the fabrics as well yeah. to show you guys. And then we thought we'd talk a little bit about the inspiration behind. Which and I think we showed a few of them on Sit and Knit a long time ago, but we couldn't find all of them. So it was just a few yeah. of them. So we found them now. We found them. And uh, <laughs> so we are calling the, the collection Norwegian Forest Dream. Obviously, it, it's because we designed it inspired by a Norwegian forest. This forest, the forest we have. The forest we have here. Here. And uh, yeah, the main fabric is, uh, is this big one here. Uh, and there that it is. is this one. So this is the main one with the elements from the forest so you have the magpie you have the ferns you have the leaves from the birch tree you have the cones from the yeah the pine cones, the pine cones the pine trees. and you have cloud berries and the cloudberry flowers yeah so that's the motifs we used that's pretty much it and then you've got berries as and well. yeah that's lingon, lingon berries Tittabai. very typical if you've been to ikea you know you can buy lingonberry jam uh, which is very good. And lingonberry is a berry that grows wild here in Norway. I think in many places, obviously, yeah. but in Norway. And Sweden. Yeah. So the magpie is inspired uh, from a print that we bought. It is actually. We bought the print. Where was that? Florence. In Florence. And there were two beautiful magpies. Yeah. So those are the inspiration for this. These are more simplified. Yeah. So this it's a very kind of uh, beautifully drawn magpie. And then we've taken the drawing of the magpie and we have drawn it, you know, in our own way and making it a little bit more simple, a little bit more stylized as well. Yeah. Or it's maybe not cartoonish. Almost. Cartoonish. Yeah, it's not very natural. The one that the original one is very natural yeah. looking. Ours is a little bit more of a cartoon. And we also have two stuffed magpies that we bought in Paris in the flea market many, many years ago. And this was a guy who was a taxidermist, but mm. then he retired and he still did stuffed birds. Yeah, and we love the so. magpie. I mean, we have two stuffed ones and looking at the feathers, you realize that they're not black. No, that's why we have added some purple and blue and gray. Yeah, because you can see that there are more colors. There's a lot of coloration in the, in, the in the beautiful feathers, although when you see it, it looks black and white. And we've done it in three colorways. We've got a light blue colorway and the pink one, a beautiful fuchsia, I would call this. Yeah, pink. there's two versions here. So just one of them and the green one. A green one. So, so yeah, so is here is the main together. fabric. And this is the big version of the main fabric. And then we have a smaller one. Yeah, because it's nice to have two different sizes. Yeah, because so we like to have a little bit of this also. And we will show you that later in a video where we do hexagons with yeah. the fabric. And here it is on the main piece of paper here. You've got it over here, the AC1. Yeah. Uh, and this one has the birch trees, which this one doesn't have. Yeah. So there's a little bit different with the birch trees. And we it's have got the, more magpies. It's yeah. got the birch trees. And also when you quilt or do things like that, it is very nice if we just put them side by side. It is very nice to have them in different sizes as well, yeah. which is what we thought. Colorway for this is um, kind of like a yellow mustard mm -hmm. color. Uh, we've got a uh, nice uh, blue mm -hmm. and we have, I think, what else do we have? A we purple. Have a purple one. Love this one. Yeah. Uh, again, the magpies, uh, very simplified. Here they're a little bit smaller, so they're mm -hmm. less detailed. Um, and you can actually see, if you look at the bigger one, you have the stripes of color. Yeah. And then in the smaller one, the colors blend in a little bit. But more. these fabrics are the first prints, so the or the ones you will find in the stores are even more detailed. They yeah. said because this is just the first print, mm -hmm. and we will use them in quilting anyway. So it's it's good for us. 
and yeah. it's nice to see the colors. We actually had to decide the difference also. If you look at this one, like this has two different pink. Yeah, and now it's <laughs> really hard. We, we go couldn't figure, yeah. Arne. Now that we've already chosen, I can see yeah. the difference. I didn't see it the first day we got the fabrics, but the next morning I saw it. Yeah, I can see it now that this yeah. pink is a little it's lighter, lighter and, and this, this is darker. Is darker. Did we For choose? a minute we thought we were colorblind, so we struggled a little bit, but <laughs> <laughs> we, we saw it. But we couldn't see it in the evening in the, in the light indoors. Mm. And then from these main fabrics, we have made the one with the cloudberry and the cloudberry flowers. Yep. This, I think, is one of my favorites. I also yeah. like this one. This is very me. So what I like about this one is that there's a little bit of a retro element going on, don't you think? Yeah. It's a little retro looking. A um, little bit 60s. How about or... cushions uh, in the beetle in this kind of fabric? That could be Wouldn't nice. that be a nice thing? It, it, it takes you back to those flower power kind of days. And you've got the um, you've got the little um, cloudberry, cloudberry flowers, flowers, which are usually white. Which they are on on this one. On the main, yeah. Uh, and then the cloudberries. And the cl yeah, right. And you have it in three colorways. So there's a, a white colorway with blue flowers, a purple colorway with white flowers, and a green one. This is actually nice for Christmas. I already made a hexagon flower with this. For the Christmas quilt, and, and here's the two again, choices, there's two yeah. different greens. But it doesn't matter because we already chose. We have you. chosen one of them, mm -hmm. so, and you can on on film you can probably see the difference anyway. Yep. And then we took the ferns. The ferns, yes. So that's one, not a third. No, the fourth fabric has only the ferns. And here we've played around with the uh, different colors and sizes of the sh of ferns, and done some very simple ones in. In like a, it's more like a sketch, right? Yeah. And then, and then the the ones in in color, in addition to the white ones, we've got a blue, red, and this is kind of like a fall combo, in yeah. my opinion. And then you have the pink one. The pink one with, with the green. The green. And oh, the this green is one. my per personal favorite. The green with yeah. the green and purple, which I really love. And I I actually like the pink one as well. Very nice. Yeah. I like all of them. If yeah. we haven't liked them, we haven't sent them. That's true. <laughs> and then... And then let's look at the book again, because uh, we'll do the wings, the, the very graphic one, which is a little psychedelic. Uh, it's this one here. So we've taken the wings of the uh, birds, and yep. we have created like a, a, a pattern out of that, like a like an abstract yeah. pattern. And originally, um, I was a little bit unsure about this one, but when we got the fabric, I absolutely loved it. And that shows the difference mm. between something that is on paper and then something that is a fabric afterwards. And uh, I found this was very successful. Yeah, I think it came out really I nice. really love the... It's different in a way, yeah. but still it goes together with this one because you see they have the same feeling on the ferns and you have the wings on the magpie so mm. it works and this one has three colorways as well yeah. a light blue and a pink, a pink one, one and a purple one and a purple one so it looks like this yeah yes and then we have that's your favorite yeah i have to say the the probably the most simple one is my most favorite sometimes that happens because uh simplicity is always the best um and i think that we this just came out really pretty. Uh, I love this. Mm -hmm. It's just a little pine cone and it's repeated many times. Uh, I love the colorway. I love this mm -hmm. kind of soft blue with the browns. Um, yeah, I think it came out really nice. It's just very lovely. And these pine cones are like in natural colors. Yeah. On the, on the other combination, the yes, pine the, cones I are... I think they're under. No. Oh, I, cu I cut this one. Oh, no, no, already. they are under. Oh, they're there. Oh, there you go. There you go. So we have the a Christmas the version. Yeah, that's the one I used for the. I used this for the Christmas. Quiz. I like that too very much. I like that one very much. And the green well. one with red in the cones. So these are all the fabrics in our first first collection with Louise and Irene. Yes, and, and if you look carefully, Arna. Yeah. And actually, I didn't see this in the beginning, but if you look carefully, they have taken our fabrics. And they've already created some quilts yep. with the fabrics. And then they've mixed them with other fabrics that they have in the Lewis and Irene collection. Yep. This kind of this kind of coordinated 
blenders. And uh, I love that quilt. And there's another one. Wait, I think there's two more. Here, it's two yeah, more quilts two with our fabrics. But I like it when you mix, like you can take our collection and mix it with another collection because then it's not like we decide the colorways for what you're doing. Because if you only use this, you will have only that colorway. Yeah. So it's interesting when you take other fabrics also and mix them up. Yeah, it is. I think that is the fun part with the quilting. And I do need to give credit where credit is due. The quilts are not designed by us. We've only designed the fabrics. We've actually drawn all of this and made all of this ourselves by hand uh, in a computer, but by hand, obviously. Uh, but the quilts have been designed by Sally Ablett. Um, she's the one that did the designs for the quilts. So uh, we need to give credit where credit is due. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, this is the first uh, video that we do on our fabrics. We are going to be back with a couple of videos where we do some stuff with them. I think there's a crazy quilt coming up. There's a crazy right? quilt I coming up. There's a quilt, and we will quilt. also use them in the hexagons quilts that we do. We have two hexagon quilts on the go. Yeah. One for Christmas and a summer quilt. Perfect. So, so stay tuned um, as we uh, will soon um, come The camera back. is over there, Carl. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Again, <laughs> sorry, so stay tuned and uh, we will be back with... Uh... Oh, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with a new episode on the quilts very, very soon. So, so we if do you the like our videos, put your thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, put on the notifications because then you won't miss an episode. And you can also be a member. Hi, we're Arnan Carlos and thank you for choosing our YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching our videos as well. And if you like what you see here, we would love it if you would give us a big thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel. Also, uh, lots of people are curious about our membership. So here's a little sneak peek of what you get as additional content if you do choose to become a member. Hello, members of the YouTube channel. I know you're waiting for me. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah, but we just had lunch and I had to clean my kitchen. I need to clean my counter. I think Eric is approaching. Yeah. Take a close up on Eric now. Good morning and welcome to uh, Olesund. Yes. Welcome to our happy place here on YouTube. Hello. All the Arna and Carlos family. Yeah. Okay. Then you get more. Yeah. Like you get shenanigans and emojis yeah. and cooking videos. And you will also get to know about our traveling before other people, I yeah. guess. So, so you can book early. So do consider becoming a member, go to our YouTube channel, check out the subscribe button next to it. There's a join button. Click on that and you'll see everything that you get, all the perks and all that. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, yeah. the Arne and Carlos family is growing every day. So, uh, yeah. And if you wonder, this is a two camera production. And I've been looking and at Carlos, the wrong camera the whole time. We are really confused by the cameras. Yeah. But, it, but it's over there. It's over there. <laughs> Thank you so much for telling me. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again very soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God.